Hi and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I have a different kind of video as I'll be setting up a traveler's notebook. I was the lucky girl who won the giveaway that Monique from Lady Falcon Travelers had on her social media a while ago and I received this box that was filled with not only the beautiful notebook but I was also gifted a beautiful pen case and loads of different extras. Now I'm going to share the info on the company in the description box below and I really encourage you to check out the website and the social media. As Monique not only makes beautiful notebooks which you can have personalized if you want to but she also makes much more out of leather as you can see here in the unboxing. As I mentioned, they also make pen cases and I was very lucky to receive one in this box too. And as you can see, the quality is just superb. And there it is, an extra large field notes pocket sized notebook and it's just gorgeous. There is even more extras with this keyring and earbud holder. Monique has really spoiled me. So on the inside there's a little dotted notebook and a folder that has two pen loops, a little diary which will be very easy to use as I love the lineup of the days and the extra space to write stuff down. And then there's also another notebook with blank paper. I'm being completely honest if I say that I just love it, even with its bright orange color. I want to make it a personalized notebook and the first thing I want to make is my own dashboard. So I'm taking out some craft paper to match my notebook and then some of my favorite stamps.
With another page in mind, I'm taking out this Andy Skinner set, as I really want some stamped crackles. And here I want to stamp around my words. Now as this is a rubber stamp, I'm using a plastic sheet to first test where I'm stamping and I'm slowly building up the color until I'm happy before stamping on my paper. Now I thought my words needed to pop up more, so I slightly offset my stamp again and I'm coming back in with black a second time. No doubt about it, I needed this angel in my notebook and I'm stamping him on a piece of vellum. It's the perfect moment to try out the white Stazen pigment ink and I must say, I'm very happy with the result. Then I masked off my angel, so I could come back in and stamp his wings. Next is this look forward with hope set, as I really want to put some words of this set in my notebook. I took out the foil sheets by Ranger, as I really wanted to add some metal foil to my dashboard, but I needed it to be a bit of a darker shade since I'm working on the craft paper. Once the glue has dried, I can add the foil and I'll be building up my foiling until I'm happy.
and the last bit of stamping three tiny hearts So I'm ready to laminate my dashboard and I have made myself a little template which will help me to line up everything. Once everything is in place, I can go and put it through my laminator. I have cut my dashboard to size and all I'm doing now is fold it in half and then I'm ready to set up my notebook. Even though I love the two pen loops this folder has, they don't seem to work with the pen I would love to use as it's a quite thick pen and the pen loops are sitting too high. So I've made a new folder in craft paper for me to use, which will hold the diary on my first elastic. Next, I'm putting in a plastic sleeve you can buy to hold passports. Then I'm putting in my dashboard with a dotted notebook inside and on my last elastic I'm putting a little journal I made myself using 300 grams thick watercolor paper. Now I do want to add some magnets and I found these ones in a shop over here called HEMA but of course I want to change the drawings so step one tracing them onto some watercolor paper so I know where to stamp. The magnets aren't that big, so I'm going for some tiny stamps, which are the bubbles, the tiny feather, the tiny moth and some of the splatters. Now everything is stamped, it's time to add a tiny bit of color.
Once my color is on there, I can glue it onto my magnets and I'm using bookbinders glue to do so. Now I want to give my paper some extra strength, so I'm also adding a layer of clear tape to prevent it from tearing at the fold. And all I need to do now is put them in my notebook. <laughs> 